Well, what's up, everybody? Frankie Slauson here with another great Frankie Slauson show daily summer vlog. But here, I'm like the only one in my house right now. So quiet. Wish it could be like this all the time. Just, I'm just chilling here at the house and uh, figure. Well, I haven't made a video. Well, I made a video. You know, I got some questions uh, from some people, some of the viewers that. Uh, were kind of wondering what the whole thing, or what the heck the whole thing was going on with the Rollins Fox tribute, and why I didn't show my face at all in any of the videos, why I didn't introduce it or whatever. Well, I kind of felt like I introduced it <clears throat> earlier in the week or like last week when I first announced it. I kind of just wanted, you know, to, oh, I don't know, just get kind of a, have a break from being on film for the weekend because I had a lot of stuff going on, and that's why I figured doing the Rollins Fox tribute because that'll fill some time. Might get some new subscribers, might get some uh, uh, new people interested in what I'm doing. Uh, I know the quality of that wasn't probably that great, but at least the audio was. Because I, I even listened to it after it was done, and I felt like the audio was actually a little bit better than the uh, video, anyway. I don't know, maybe some people find that differently, but I, I just recently enhanced my, uh, my audio on my computer from Realtek HD Audio to SRS. HD audio, which the SRS sounds a lot better. Because my parents have this, I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but on their TV, like right here, probably can't really see it too well, but it says SRS. Most of the companies, or TV companies nowadays, have SRS surround sound with, or with their TV. It makes it sound a lot better than just the regular audio. Uh, and I have Sony headphones to go with that, so it's, it sounds really nice when I listen to stuff. Kind of lot, you know, lossless audio and all that stuff it makes it sound a lot better. But anyway, so I apologize to any of those people who uh, thought I was gonna be part of the Ron's Fox tribute video or at least introduce it anyway. I noticed that we didn't get that much feedback. We got a lot of views, but we didn't get much feedback, and that that kind of pissed me off a little bit because I work pretty, you know, I know it mostly just mashing videos together, but I I work pretty hard on putting that uh, uh, video to, those uh, videos together because. I had to pick, you know, they're pretty much my favorite Ron Fox moments. And most of the stuff, yeah, I got from his channel, from Ron's channel. But I really thought I was going to get a lot of feedback because he's he's funnier than I am. You know, I don't consider myself that funny unless I'm with, peop with other people. But this guy, Ray Petty, you know, that's his real name. Uh, Ron Fox is his radio name, his nickname. Like, Frank is my nickname, even though Sean's my real name. Uh, you know, he's funnier than I am. If you guys ever heard of him or have gone to his stick ham shows or his blog TV shows, he's a funny motherfucker, you know? I mean, even if he's not performing, you know, like, you know, doing something out in the air or whatever and not trying to be funny, and he, and he, he is anyway, I mean, he's just a guy who's been on radio who I idolize just because he's been a part of the business for so long and he knows his stuff. And that's who I learned from. He's like my, my Wolfman Jack kind of. You know, since Wolfman Jack is alive no more, I gotta find somebody who's just nearly, if if nearly as entertaining or even more entertaining than Wolfman was. So, yeah, that's that's why I wanted to do it, and, and just because. And he even got a chance to look at it too, because we're friends on Facebook and everything. And and uh, yeah, so anyway, but it just pissed me off because I thought you know people would more people would actually, uh, you know, uh, leave comments and all that. But you know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm back on camera. Uh, this week, uh, I think my sister and I. Well, I'm not gonna give too much away of what we're what we're planning because I, I don't know if I announced it or not. Probably didn't, but I get. Uh, I've been on a seven day. I got seven days off, so I got all this free time to do to film some stuff. Uh, maybe go on another walk or something, or four wheel ride, or something. we'll we'll try to do something fun anyway. I but today, I'm just cooking a pizza. I can show you guys what I'm cooking, I suppose. Went to a place called Belly's and Thief Ever. Uh, it's like a take and bake place where you can order whatever type of pizza you want and they will make it for you, but you have to bake it yourself. And that's what we're doing. That's what I see right now. It's, uh, it's a taco pizza. They call it the Belly Buster, but it's, uh, it, it looks really, really good. It smells good too. So you're not supposed to leave it in here too long, you know, but. They have instructions and everything that come with it, and everything too. So, but yeah. So we're gonna. Uh, one of the things that I do want to do, 
<clears throat> this week, and I talked to my sister about it, because she said she'll have some time off, too. Now, I got myself some, uh, some undershirts, okay? Why did I get myself some undershirts? Well, first of all, I love undershirts. I, I think they're, they're fun to wear. That way you don't feel so, so naked, I guess, when you're wearing a t-shirt or something. I don't know, I guess that maybe I have that little phobia of feeling naked when I, if I'm not wearing an undershirt, you know. Like me, right now, undershirt, you know. Well, you know, I feel, I feel more like I'm wearing clothes, more or less, if, compared to if I, like I see a lot of these guys who are like 400 pounds or whatever, that even come to the store at Hugo's or whatever, where their gut's hanging out and all that stuff, and just like, I mean, literally their beer gut, whatever, belly gut, fat, uh, fat, uh, hanging out, and just like so gross or whatever, and I just... You know, I just say, at least put an undershirt on or something. But anyway, why did I get the undershirts? Well, I, a while ago, I actually bought something from eBay in, in a way to kind of celebrate the uh, 25th anniversary of the Goonies. I found a, somebody did like an iron-on thing or whatever, like an iron-on transfer. Like, originally, you know, when I got ordered this, I thought it was going to be like right side up or whatever, you know, the other way around. But it's uh, kind of like backwards almost but it's an iron-on transfer thing and I was thinking that uh, I could put make that under a shirt for a shirt and I've had this now for a couple months and I haven't you know I've had these undershirts for a couple months I haven't even opened yet and uh, yeah I just waiting to, for my sister to do this for me so I'm thinking that what that's one of the projects I'd like to do this week as a way to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Goonies film kind of custom because uh, a lot of people have asked me too you know it's like Frankie you know I see you wearing like a lot of different shirts you know are they all custom made or did you order them like you know like pre-order them or something like this one I got right now the raw shirt well that was mine I you know it wasn't a pre pre-order or nothing like that or something I created myself but once in a while if I get the uh the urge or whatever I will uh go online I will pre-order some shirts like custom make my own shirts you know with like Back to the Future design or anything or whatever I want or, and uh, you know that's what I that's what I like what I'm doing right now is kind of like what I'm what I'm doing but most of the time I'd have professionals online that maybe charge a little bit for it but I think it's worth it you know just because you know this stuff is you can't find this you can't find this stuff in, in theaters I mean, not the <laughs> theaters. You can't find the stuff around here like a J.C. Penny or whatever. You can, but then it's all like faded out and shit, and I don't like that. But this, like, I, I got from a guy in Chicago who uh, was making custom shirts, and I, you know, he asked me what type of image I wanted and where I wanted it, and I said, well, here we, you know, this one looks fine. You know, <clears throat> it's like purple or whatever, <clears throat> and it not faded out or anything. It's a Michael J. Fox, Mark McFly shirt, you know, from Back to the Future. But it was custom made from a guy in Chicago. This one, of course, too, is custom made. Uh, it's in Florida. Uh, MJ Kelly has the same shirt like this too, but I had mine custom made. I had mine, you know, you know. He asked me what size I wanted, what uh, what picture I wanted, and everything. So, yeah. So, once in a while, when I get a niche or whatever, one thing you don't know about me is I'm not trying to say I'm into fashion or whatever, because I, you know. I, I, I just like to, I'm trying to get in the habit of trying to look nicer than I, dress nicer than I have in the past, you know. Not that I'm worried about getting a girlfriend or anything like that, I just, for me, it's just, I want to start looking a little bit better, you know. I want to start taking care of myself a little bit better, because I'm a very neat person, and i not a neat freak, but, you know, I, I kind of like to wear, dress like this, like this is my senior year of high school uh, graduation photo, and, uh, you know, I was a lot skinnier then, of course, but I look pretty damn good. Had the hair spiked back and everything, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was a hot guy at one time. <laughs> anyway, so we'll see what goes on this week. I figured I'd just make a, a video today because I took the weekend off. Although I will tell you that that Ron's Fox review it still counts as a, a part of my daily summary vlog because it's a new video every day. It doesn't necessarily have to be me in the video, but you know, whatever I decide to do, I'm going to do. So, don't get upset with me if I'm not in a video or whatever. Even if I copy somebody else's video or, you know, make my own little tribute. Because it still counts. So, anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another great daily summer vlog. And, happy Monday.